this is the part where I actually want to talk about my rankings as they relate to the preseason A top A preseason AP top 25. I think the thing to point out right away is that I got Colorado ranked and they do not, right? I touched a bit on LSU. I don't think I need to do too much more about that. But Colorado being here is important for me because last year, preseason top 25, 2022, USC debuted at number 14 after going four and eight with a different head coach and a different roster. 2022 USC added about 30 new players and an entirely new staff and got a number 14 preseason ranking. But if I tell you that Coach Prime, who has gone 27 and 6 as a head coach, who has had back to back 10 win seasons, who brought in a quarterback who is as talented as Caleb Williams and CJ Stroud, the only three players in the sport last year who threw for 3,500 yards or more, had 40 TD passing or more, and six or fewer INTs, along with the best recruiter in college football, according to 247, not me, Charles Kelly to run his defense, Sean Lewis, whose offense puts up 40, and Travis Hunter going both ways, and Alton McCaskill. Somehow I get the what for for seeing what USC was last year and how the preseason AP treated them, and what Colorado is this year and how I treat them. This is not a hot take. This is the same measured take that we gave to USC. So you're telling me that you believe that Lincoln Riley is a better football coach than Coach Prime. Fine, that's okay. I ranked them both. I think that their resumes are similar. Now, you can talk about Heisman Trophy winners. Cool. Again, I ranked USC in the top four. That's what I did. I see Caleb Williams. I see Lincoln Riley. I see a team that doesn't need a defense to make the college football playoff because he didn't need one in Oklahoma. All right? I look at Colorado. I see a good football team. I see a man that turned over the roster, I think 58 new players, including walk-ons, have come to Colorado since he became Colorado's head coach, and they immediately got better. And I know that they immediately got better because Colorado fans believe they immediately got better. You know how I know Colorado fans believe they immediately got better? They've sold out their season tickets. They've sold out Colorado versus Nebraska. Thank you for watching the number one college football show. Please remember to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that you don't miss any of the best college football coverage in America.